Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you to make a very simple and yet crude particle detector cloud chamber with using a few simple parts, mainly recycled trash and dried ice. This device is supposed to be able to detect particles that are coming from the cosmic background radiation. Every so often, you may see little spritz of particles that will zip through the condensed isopropyl alcohol cloud. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is isopropyl alcohol. In this case, is 91%. Higher the percentage, the better the effect will become. You're also going to need a sponge to soak up the isopropyl alcohol and then to be placed on top of this plastic cup, which will then be placed on top of this aluminium tray. And this tray will be placed on top of some dried ice, which will then cool down the entire chamber, which will then allow the isopropyl alcohol to condense into clouds. And with the condensation of the clouds, will allow you to be able to see the particles zipping through and bombarding each of the isopropyl alcohol cloud particles. And now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm gonna take this aluminum cake tray, stretch it out and flatten it. So then that way, I can be able to cut out this bottom. Place it on the, on the workbench and flatten it out the best you can. And now, take this plastic cup and see if it fits, and it does. And now I'm going to take this black sheet of paper, and of course you could always spray paint this aluminum tray black, which will make a better effect. But I'm just going a simple crude method. Trace out the piece of paper, cut it out, and place it on top of this tray and cut around it. And now I'm going to take this black electrical tape and just simply tape it on. Yes, as you can see, this is very crude and very sloppy, but this is what you get if you're going to recycle trash and use only parts that you have laying around. And now I'm going to take this plastic cup, take this dry sponge, place it in the bottom of this cup, Pour some isopropyl alcohol to soften the sponge and to soak up the isopropyl alcohol. Pour in a generous amount. And there, attach the two parts together. And there, the two parts are now together, and I'm going to airtight seal it with using this hot glue. And that way the isopropyl alcohol vapors will not escape. Put in a generous amount of glue to make sure it's nice and sealed. And there, everything is sealed together. I have right here this block of dried ice. Remove it from this package. Place it on top of the cardboard. And now go ahead and place the chamber on top of the dried ice and wait approximately 30 minutes for it to cool down. Doing this will allow the isopropyl alcohol vapors to condense into a cloud. And now watch carefully. Ah, there's a particle. And another one. And another one. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own particle detector cloud chamber with using a few simple parts. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech.
Goodbye. Take it. Take a couple pieces. Up inside, just like that. Take a couple of pieces. Take a couple of pieces. Drop it inside of an Erlenmeyer flask, and add some water. There. Now you have something that looks very sciencey. I don't know. This kind of looks like a mad scientist thing. Ooh. Okay, I'm just being funny right now. Oh well. Anyways, thank you for watching SciTitech. Goodbye. Collect a bunch of dried ice and you can just pour it out.